Hello everyone, this is Marjolin Baloj from Pakistan and you're watching my YouTube channel Insani Antihad which aims to invoke a little bit of humanity in all of us. So today I would like to share this really nice and um, sweet incident which happened to me. Uh, for the people who think that Judaism and Jewish people are very arrogant and very racist and they're very proud of being the chosen people and whatnot. So um, I have this uh, really, uh, really nice and amazing uh, rabbi. Okay, he's not a professional rabbi, I think. Uh, so, but he is, he is a rabbi to me because he is teaching me how to read uh, Torah uh, for uh, some time, I think a month or so. So he's a very, very nice uh, person. He's a mathematician also. So wonderful human and I'm learning so much from him and I'm so grateful to him and more so to Hashem that you know, <laughs> he has, you know, provided me with this resource and, and thankful to him for getting the time out and, you know, investing this much of time on me and teaching me something. So, uh, Baruch Hashem, thank you that, to that person, but that person, I think unintentionally uh, and, and just casually we were having a conversation and I was asking him that if I convert and, and there, there, is, there are a lot of uh, rituals in regards to, you know, uh, blessing the wine on, on Shabbat and a lot, a lot of uh, blessings on wine. So at MGC, uh, we uh, had the uh, blessed opportunity to uh, be involved in a Shabbat dinner uh, at a Muslim Church conference. So they had provided us this, uh, uh, this um, uh, 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 grape juice. So the, for the Muslim participants and people who didn't want it to, you know, consume uh, alcohol or whatever uh, with the wine so there was this wine for people who wanted that and there was this crab juice to people who were not uh, <laughs> you know who were muslim and who did not like didn't want it to you know uh, have the alcohol in, in in that dinner so uh, then i asked my rabbi that uh, if i convert and and i generally not i, I am generally not a uh, alcohol person <laughs> uh, because I went to India and lived there for like around uh, eight months or so, eight months or so for a training course. And there, you know, a um, bunch of us we used to go to this uh, this uh, bar type rest bar. It, it was actually a bar in a restaurant. So on, I think uh, some weekends uh, we used to go, and I also went with this lot of group a few times. Uh, and and there were like, everybody would would order different kinds of alcohol, including wine and blah blah blah. So we, I mean, me and there were I think one or two other uh, the other you know uh, group members who didn't drink, and we ordered like uh, you know some juice, fresh juices or or uh, hot chocolate. Their hot chocolate was <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Literally amazing. Their hot hot chocolate was the best I ever had, and I am a huge fan. <laughs> so they had one of the best hot chocolates I had ever had. Uh, but they had very good, uh, you know, masala tea, and their dosa was amazing too. So I'm not gonna recommend <laughs> place. But anyway, so I had that very worst experience with you know these group of people having alcohol and the, the, the color of alcohol literally I used to say, say, to, it, say to them as well that it looks like more more or less it looks like this it smells weird and disgusting like rotten fruits and I'm sure it would taste horrible and I had this opportunity uh, I will not mention where and what so uh, where I had this one sip that I said, you know, in once in life, I, if I, I have so much prejudice and bad opinion about something, at least I should have the courage to at least taste it once. So I had a sip and now I conclude this, that not only it looks bad, <laughs> it smells bad, it tastes even worse. So not a recommendation from my side, whatever you can call me, it's not something that I am uh, a fan of. Fresh juices, grape juice, whatever, best things, 
rich in vitamin C, go for it. <laughs> go for it. Don't go for rotten foods. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I don't want to. So I asked my rabbi, so if I convert to Judaism and I would like to use like grape juice forever in all the religious, uh, you know, rituals, will it be okay or, you know, so he is like, yeah, yeah, go ahead, <laughs> totally, it is fine, you can use uh, grape juice instead of wine. <laughs> Many alcoholics also do. <laughs> and it was just so funny. He said this like a normal thing that you know many alcoholics also you know use grape juice in the in the rituals, uh, uh, other than you know using the wine thing. So at that very moment, I thought that oh my god, this rabbi just you know just like saying this, he just humbled me so much that I mean it is not a big you know in in Islam that is like big pious thing that you have never dreamt. And you are this this nice person and that and this. So, um, and you feel a certain amount of proudness that, oh, I have saved myself from all the sins and this and I'm this perfect person or whatever. But this concept that, that my rabbi gave me is was so humbling, so sweet. And I, I just could not stop laughing at it, the whole concept of it. And I went on laughing on this for quite some time and it still brings a huge smile on my face that, you know, I am equal to somebody who is an alcoholic. And thank God that, you know, Jews also have gender segregation in their congregations and in their synagogues. So at least I would end up with alcoholic women rather I mean, just imagine if I would end up <laughs> sitting with, you know, the section where, you know, you serve the grape juice instead of <laughs> wine and all the alcohols <laughs> are sitting. <laughs> the, the thought of it was like so funny and so humbling at the same time that I felt like, I mean, it is, I mean, people think that Jews are proud and this, they are completely wrong. At least my rabbi <laughs> With this thing, he made me feel that it is humbling and it is very... So, it's, you know, it, it's, it, it feels like that, you know, the most pious and the most, uh, what you can say, wrongdoers, sinners. Sinners is a, is a very strong word. The people who do most of the mistakes and people who do the least mistakes are the, are at the two ends of the line. And if you... If you I mean, he's a mathematician too. So if, if you sort of, uh, you know, intersect that line in, in a circle because they are two ends, you know, the, the most, uh, le the least mis mistake makers and the most mistake makers would, if you join these two points and connect them, it will become a circle. So, you know, it, it is such a uh, humbling concept that, you know, we shouldn't be at the extreme ends of the most mistake makers and the least mistake makers, rather, in, you know, in between somewhere where, you know, we are making, uh, you know, childish mistakes, which are, which are mistakes, but they don't do it like permanent harm to somebody or, or the nature or the world. But, you know, try, just strive to be good, try to be, uh, you know, try to be a positive person and contributing person person who uh, contributes to the betterment of humanity and the world and tries to be good and adds value not only to the world but also to him or her life as well so i just wanted to share this beautiful thing that uh, my rabbi did this to me it immediately and instantly humbled me <laughs> and I'm so grateful that at least if I go to Judah <laughs> I would end up with alcoholic <laughs> and drinking grape juice <laughs> on Shabbat so it would be fun <laughs> so all those people who are thinking uh, to convert to Judaism I would say it, it's it's a beautiful uh, beautiful concept it's, it's a beautiful and I think more than uh, people choosing to be Jews I think uh, Judaism sort of chooses people to be part of that sort of mission and that sort of thing. So I wish whoever um, are thinking 
and they have a very enlightening and smooth journey towards it and would find their true purpose and add add value to to um, the entire thing so thank you and take care take care and i hope i have not offended anyone by sharing this wonderful story thank you